New at six, another life lost. A fourth person now died from a wreck that caused unimaginable damage along I-55 near Hamill a week ago. The victim, 20-year-old Tori Carroll, was in the car with her friends Madison and Haley Bertles. The sisters were killed when a semi ran into them. Tonight, those young women are being honored in a vigil. News 4's Ray Preston is live in Staunton. Well, it is scheduled to begin here at 7 o'clock at St. Paul United Church of Christ. Now, Staunton is a town of about 6,000 people. One man here says that the deaths of these three young women has had a profound impact on the community. The school district has been providing counselors to its students and staff since the crash last week. It is a difficult time for many young students who now have to grapple with death and loss at a young age. But the community is pulling together. We started our school year off this year with a theme of Be the Difference. And over the course of this week, we've seen just that. Our community, um, individual people, businesses, organizations, they've all really rallied together and displayed acts of kindness that have just been touching and very moving. At the local Dairy Queen, a blizzard benefit bucket still sits on the countertop accepting donations. Today, the road to the DQ was empty, but this was a scene last night. The DQ donated all the money it brought in from selling blizzards to the families of the victims. Cars were backed up, waiting to get into the parking lot. Up the road to the left and to the right of the stop sign, and it went back into town a little ways. Uh, the police actually came out uh, and started directing traffic for us. People came from as far away as Fenton and O'Fallon, Missouri to donate. Um, Art Opperman says you know, he's never seen anything people. like it. This is a, a close-knit community and this has affected people a lot. Um, and I think last night speaks to that. But it's also kind of shown the best of Staunton. Small acts of kindness and simple ideas changed the world and whoever had the idea to do that last night really changed our little corner of the world. We're told the idea was from the owners, Craig and Lori Caligero. Now the fourth person to die in this crash was a college student at Missouri Southern State University. She died on Thanksgiving Day. That was two days after the crash. Now we will be here for tonight's vigil and have a complete story coming up for you tonight at 10. Reporting live from Staunton, Illinois, Ray Preston News 4.